Hi everybody, it's Dave Dunbar from General Pipe Cleaners. And we just wanted to have a video here to go over the fundamentals on how to use the Geni Hotspot Locator. How to use it in the field, how to make sure that you're accurate. So the first recommendation we have is that don't push this out 100 feet before you go to look for it. Bring it back as close as possible to the reel, uh, to the building, to whatever starting point you have, so that you're not really looking over a thousand square feet or something. Okay, but then, once you do get up and running, you make sure that you're on the right frequency, make sure that everything is set up properly, which looks like this. So you make sure that the battery is full, make sure that you uh, have sound, and I have turned off right now, but you want to make sure that this thing is working so that you can actually use your ears to get close to the device. Make sure that you're on sound function. The next thing, it looks like a, a sideways Y, that's total field antenna, and that's what, we, that's what we recommend. And the last thing is 512 hertz. Make sure you're on 512 hertz. Okay, now I'm gonna start with the gain fairly high. You notice that dB goes up when I press this up barrel. And then I'm going to just sort of wave this around. Okay. So the sound is what cues me to which direction I want to go. You're not going to pick up any usable information from the screen as you're doing this, but you can hear. The loudest signal seems to be from this direction. So we walk this way. We walk about 10 feet because that's about the range. Then we stop. Now notice that the gain is at 99.9. .9. So I'm going to reduce the gain. The dB number is going down, down, down until I get the signal strength somewhere around 50%. Now, geez, I'm right over the peak. I walked right to it. Okay. So that's not uncommon. The strongest sound is going to lead you directly to the peak, which is right over where the transmitter is. Now, in addition, we recommend using two other functions. Find the null spots. The null spots are where the wave actually goes back underground uh, when it propagates from the transmitter. So if I go this direction and then follow the arrows, there's a null spot. A null spot looks like a, a bullseye or a dot, a circle around it and four arrows pointing in. Okay, so you mark that. And then go to the other side of your peak. And again, follow the arrows, and there's the other null spot. Finding the null spots and the peak and marking those, you'll notice that they form a straight line, and the null spots are equidistant away from the peak. That's important because this is the way the wave propagates above ground and you can use that to your advantage. That straight line will tell you how the, the pipe is oriented underground exactly. And it double and triple checks your work to make sure that you actually are where you think you are. So again, what we're doing with this device is we're using our ears to get close and our eyes by way of the icons on the screen in order to double check our work to make sure we're exactly over the target. Any questions, call 800-245-6200 and talk to the Drain Brains. Or you can go on our website, drainbrain.com. Thanks a lot. And again, general, a couple stools down the line. <laughs>